And then, real quick, obviously, now we have our final. Dunroy against Ballyhale Shamrocks. Obviously, Ballyhale Shamrocks are going to be going into this as roaring hot favourites. They should have won it last year. Harry Ruddle's shot, if that goes an inch to the left, they are the all Ireland club champions. And now they've beaten Ballygunner in the semi-final. They've beaten Kilmichael Croaks. They've won the Leinster again. They've won Kilkenny again. They beat a very good James Stevens side in the Kilkenny final. It's one of those things that Ballyhale obviously coming into this, the spine that they have. They've got Darren Mullen, Henry Shefflin. No, not Henry Shefflin, sorry, Evan Shefflin, Richie Reid, you know, Joey Holden in defence. Then they've got the likes of Paddy Mullen in midfield and the forwards, TJ Reid, Owen Cody, Adrian Mullen, Joey Cudahy. I mean, this is looking like one hell of a task for Don Lloyd. My question to you is, can they pull off the upset of all upsets? Well, it's been done before. When you look at Lockheed Shamrocks winning the Hurley Championship, I think it was around uh, 2012, they won um, the all Ireland Hurley Championship. And even when you look at uh, Mullen Octa putting off surprises in the Football Championship, you even look at, say, Bridges in 2013, it's been done before. Like, a side goes in beating all these great sides like Ballygunner, Kidmacook, Croaks, uh, Jay Stevens, as you mentioned there, managed by Brian Cody, by the way, as well. So, very good achievement there. But with Dunloy, like, a lot of people will be backing against him. And that could be a big thing going behind him as well, because like nobody will be looking at the Bally Hale. Michael Walsh into the final thinking, we're going to win this. How many points are we going to win by? And uh, what are the celebrations going to be like? But Dunloy will be thinking, nobody's expecting us to do well. We'll give mm-hmm. it a right good go. You know, there's no pressure on us whatsoever. So, and they do have the players like Keenan Malloy, if you mentioned, Colin Cunning, Sean Elliott. They have some excellent players all over the field, especially in that forward line in midfield as well. So, why not? Don't know, I can trouble the uh, Ballyhale Shamrocks, but I suppose the Omens all point towards this uh, Ballyhale victory because you mentioned the players, their own Cody, who I think is one of the most underrated players in the country at the moment. TJ, we mentioned his longevity there. Joey Holt, an excellent defender. Joey Cody, very good club player. Adrian Mullen, again, another un- underrated player in the country. Dean Mason in goal, very mm-hmm. good goalkeeper, one of the best club goalkeepers in the country. So you'd have to say Ballyhale are the favourites by one back, again, back against Dunloy either because it has been done before. The shock of the club championship, but that's why it's the best club championship around because you don't know what's coming next. True. I, I can't see them winning. It's one of those things where, well, look, Ballyhale do have a tendency to let things you know, they come very, very close to a huge upset. And they have over the last two years. Now, I'm not saying that they have been upset yet. They haven't been caught, but they've been very nearly caught. You think back to last year, St. Rhinas, the champions of Offaly, they took them to extra time. That was in the Leinster Club Hurling Championship. Kilmichael Croaks this year, a massive comeback. And as you said, rightfully so, Kilmichael Croaks should have got over the line in that game. Ballyhale Shamrocks, they do have you know, an ability to switch off. And they have shown us it. They just haven't been punished yet. They haven't come up against a team that's been good enough to take advantage of them switching off. Ballygunner beat them in last year's final. But I mean, in terms of like an upset, they haven't come up against a team that has had the ability to put them away when they've been switched off at those stages. Dunloy have outstanding hurlers. Keelan Malloy, Conal Cunning, they're brilliant. I, and as you mentioned, the Elli- Elliots as well. Not only Sean, but the likes of Eamon Smith, Nigel Elliott, brilliant hurlers. I just don't see Bally Hale switching off in this game, though. I just think now it's the final. This is when the champions wake up. This is when the champions come to fruition. They are not going to take Dunloy lightly because they saw what Dunloy did to St. Thomas's. They're going to know that they have a real game on their hands. And I can see Bally Hale winning by about seven points that's my official prediction i'm saying bally hell by seven points another tj masterclass own cody chipping in with a few scores adrian mullen chipping in with a few scores and even though dunloy will be led excellently i think conal cunning and keelan malloy are both going to have brilliant games and they're going to definitely give them one hell of a first half i just see bally hell's experience being a little bit too much and i can see them powering on in the third quarter and the last 10 minutes yeah, exactly. So yeah, yeah, I'd probably go by your prediction, but I'd probably go by less margin, so probably five points. I think Ballyhale are still way, way too good. But uh, Dunloy, I think there could be a shock there. But Dunloy, again, they'll have to perform 100, even 110% to get over the line in this game. And 
Mm-hmm. And then again, you don't know what's going to happen. Like, yeah, will the energy be sucked out of them after this game? Will the energy be sucked out of them after such a long break after Christmas? You don't know. But um, yeah, you'd probably have to go Ballyhale, look mm-hmm. at the players, looking at you know, you know, the fact they lost the final in the last minute as well, when they should have won it, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that would be at the back of their minds as well. So yeah, I'd have to go Ballyhale as well, but I'd go five points. I think Dunlai will really put up a good challenge in this game. Yeah, no, I'm definitely looking forward to it. That is our prediction for the game, guys. Make sure to put your prediction in the comments below. Let us know who you think is going to win the game, what score do you think is going to be the difference between the two sides. Always interested to hear your points of view as well.